I recently tested out whether or not it's possible to sign Cristiano Ronaldo for Barcelona in FIFA 18 career mode. And quite a few of you wanted me to try out the same thing with Lionel Messi and Real Madrid, so let's give it a go. It has been possible the last few years. Every year though he's wanted more money. In FIFA 15 I signed him up for 782 grand a week. In FIFA 16 it went up to 900 grand a week. And in FIFA 17 he wanted 1.1 million pounds per week. So every year he's been getting greedier. What's he going to want this time? Also though, if you're new to the channel and want to see more experiment videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And if you do go on to enjoy this video, leave it a like too. Let's get into the negotiations then, and let's see about bringing Messi to Madrid. Handshake, promising start. Good to see you. We've been looking forward to this meeting. Let's get started. Right then, so he's valued at 92.5 million. They'll probably want more than that, to be honest, but he does only have one year left on his contract, so you never know. Let's just go straight in with his valuation. We won't let Messi go for that, but we'll sell him for 118.1 million. I'm not entirely sure why, but every time I go into transfer negotiations, they always slap a random 0.1 million on. Two can play that game though. Let's try counter offering. 110, 0.1 million. And the rep says that that's a fair offer. I'm glad that we could reach an agreement on the fee for Messi. I hope we can do more deals in the future. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. So now it's time to talk to Messi and find out how much money he wants per week. As I said at the start, I've been trying this for the last few years, and in FIFA 15 he only wanted 782 grand a week. Well, I say only, it's still a lot of money. But he went up to 1.1 million in FIFA 17. So what's he going to ask for this time? About 1.5 million a week? Or will he ask for something a bit more reasonable? Let's find out. My client expects to be untouchable in terms of being in the starting lineup every week. Unless he gets injured, of course. Yep, that's perfectly fine by me. And Messi's now got a massive smile on his face that he's going to be a Real Madrid regular. Four-year contract, let's give the man exactly what he's looking for. And once again, we get a little cheeky smile out of Messi. He is absolutely delighted to be switching over to his rivals. He's tired of Barcelona. He wants to move on to bigger and better things, win the Champions League again, and go over to Real Madrid. And if anyone wants him, they're going to have to pay us 999 million, 999,000, and 999. £99. I think that's fair. They're not too sure about that one though. They want it to be 189.4 million. Yeah, go on then. Once again, we get another little smile out of Messi. That's what I like to see. He wants a £6.7 million signing bonus, plus £12.8 million after 25 appearances. I wasn't expecting his demands to be quite that high. But it is Messi, I suppose, so let's just say yes. Handshake sorted, and Lionel Messi is making his way to Real Madrid. Three Champions League trophies in the last four years for Real Madrid, and Messi and Ronaldo will now be looking to add to that together. The duo of dreams is officially complete. And this is how the team's looking now, with Benzema up top, Ronaldo and Bale on the wings, Messi operating as a centre forward, Modric and Kroos for the middle, Marcelo, Ramos, Varane and Carvajal at the back, with Navas in goal. And the first game of the season sees Real Madrid up against Barcelona in the Super Cup, so let's get into it, and let's see about scoring some goals with Messi, or at least that's the aim anyway. Might not quite work out that way, but that's what I'm hoping for. Ronaldo plays that one over to Messi, he moves it out wide to Gareth Bale, turns that inside to Toni Kroos, it's back with Bale, it's with Benzema again now, moves it on to Lionel Messi, who loses the ball. Ah, oh, first touch of the game and he's messed it up. That is not a good sign. Messi's on it again now then, tries a pass there, but again it doesn't quite work out. It's not going to be his day, is it? Tony's on the attack now then, plays that one to Gareth Bale, who turns it inside to Messi. And once again he's lost the ball, seriously mate, step up your game. We've been pretty terrible so far, and I reckon that Barcelona might take advantage of it soon. Come on lads, get a tackle in. Oh, that's off the post. We got lucky there. They got another chance, though. Good block. And the keeper's got it covered. We are very fortunate on that one. Could have been 1-0 already. Here come Barcelona once again now, then working the ball forward. They've moved it on to Rakitic. Plays that inside. And it's 1-0 to Barcelona. I've not been in this game at all so far. I've not been playing my best FIFA at all. And at the moment, we're losing to Barcelona. Not quite the start that I had in mind for the duo of dreams. Benzema's on it now then, plays that one to Messi. He moves it out wide to Gareth Bale who scoops that back. He's looking for Messi, plays it to the edge of the box to him. Went for the finesse shot, got lucky though. It drops for Ronaldo, he plays that across the face of goal. 
And how have we not got the equaliser there? Anyway though, Luca's on it, plays that one forward to Gareth Bale. He's going to whip it over to the back post to Cristiano and we've won a corner. Let's try and find Cristiano with this one. In fact, that was not a good delivery. Went nowhere near Cristiano Ronaldo. It's with Luca now though, takes a long shot and what a goal. I was not expecting that. He finds the corner of the net and we've got the equaliser. That was an absolutely exquisite finish from Luka Modric. Long shots are so overpowered in this game, but I still wasn't expecting that. That was just an absolute peach of a strike. Let's take another look at this one on the replay. Look at that. What a beautiful goal from Luka Modric. Barcelona are attacking us again now though. They've taken it past us very comfortably there and that's another good stop from Navas. Rakitic is going to float this one over now then. Sends it to the edge of the box. We've headed it clear to Lionel Messi and he's lost it. Barcelona have been absolutely crushing us so far. Somehow though, we're still just about in the game and the score is level at 1-1. And Messi's on a 6.9, so that's better than I was expecting to be completely honest. Bale's on a 6.7, Benzema's only on a 6.5 and Ronaldo's on a 7.0. So Benzema's coming off, Isco's coming on and Messi has moved up front. Let's score some goals. Gareth Bale's on it now then. Plays that one forward to Carvajal who moves it on to Messi. Scoops that inside to Luka Modric. Good stop by the keeper. Where's it going to land? Someone get your head to that. Unlucky. Luka's on it again now then. Freds that forward to Cristiano. Turns that back. Crosses it over to Gareth Bale. What was that? That is one of the worst headers I've ever seen in my life. Instantly, I'm subbing Gareth Bale off. Here come Barcelona once again now then. Rakitic is on it now. Plays that back to Luis Suarez. What a ball through. And it's 2-1. Barcelona are beating us. Credit where credit's due though. Let's take another look at this one on the replay. That was a fantastic goal. Really nice football from Barcelona. Moved it through to Delafeu. And it's a really nice finish. 2-1. Messi's back on it again now then. Plays that one to Marcelo. He's going to try and play that one through. Not a good ball. Right then, Luca, what can you do here? He plays that to Tony Kroos. who moves it forward to Cristiano. Budges his man off the ball. What on earth happened there? What can Isco do with this one? Plays it to the back post. In fact, he played it into the keeper's arms. Not great, was it? Here comes Tony now then. Plays that one across to Leo. Leo's going to go for goal. That one's gone wide. And Barcelona have got another chance here. Moving the ball around quite nicely once again. And they've made it 3-1. It's that man Delafeu once again. He came on as a sub and he's completely torn us apart. Come on, Ronaldo. Do something good with this one. Messi is on it now. Going to whip that one over to the back post. It's found Asensio. He goes for it and that's a corner. Here we come now then with Kovacic. He plays that one through. Oh, I didn't mean to play that pass, but never mind. Cristiano's on it now. He's going to whip it over. Not a bad ball. Didn't find any of our players though, so in fact it was a terrible ball. Anyway though, Kovacic is going to cross it over once again. So many crosses and they're not working out at all. Why do I keep trying them? Anyway though, that is the final whistle. So it wasn't really quite the result that I was looking for, but never mind. You can't win them all, I suppose. Anyway though, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you again next time.